Hey, what's up everybody? Well, I'm finally doing it. I'm finally doing a review of this Gucci Guilty Absolute, which I was supposed to have done like three days ago, but I wanted to keep wearing it because um, I didn't I didn't feel like, like I got to know it well enough, so um, I think I got this like eight days ago, and I've worn this fragrance at least once a day every day for eight days except i think there was one day that i didn't wear it but i've gotten to know this fragrance fairly well so i wanted to talk about it today and go ahead and uh, do a review and i decided as usual the last few reviews i'm going to do this review with no clothes on completely naked except for my cap a lot of people ask me about my cap when I do like naked reviews. Everybody's like, well, you still have your cap on. Well, I know, but I've been wearing a cap uh, pretty much 24 hours a day since I was a little kid. I don't know why. It's just one of those things. But, um, you know, I always wear my cap because if I don't, I feel naked. Wait, I am naked. Never mind. Anyway, on to the review. <sighs> The reason that I have this in my possession is because uh, about a month or two ago, I've been I've been really wanting to get a really good leather dominant fragrance collection, some really good leather dominant fragrances, and um, I started looking at a bunch of them. I already got a few. Um, Aqua de Parma leather, I got Ombre leather by Tom Ford, I got a couple of them. But this kept popping up when I was like looking for um, different leather fragrances. This popped up a couple of times and I read a couple of comments about it and I got a little bit interested in it. And I started looking at it. So I seen all the um, reviews from other fragrance reviewers on YouTube, I seen all their reviews. I read all the comments in some of the Facebook groups and went to Fragranica and looked at all their comments and base notes. I even seen a couple of articles on this. GQ did an article, a big, huge article about this, saying what a masterpiece this was and and all this, you know, really hyped up stuff about this fragrance. And but a lot of people said that uh, this is going to be one of those fragrances that most people are going to hate. Or love um, and I took that under consideration when I ordered this I always not always but I blind buy a lot of my fragrances I've been doing that for the last two years there's only a few that I really regret blind buying but I'm a blind buyer and the reason I do that is because um, I'll buy a full bottle of something um, and not decants because sometimes you can use up whole decant and just don't get anything from it sometimes it takes a long time to really really know if you like a fragrance or not sometimes it's taken me up to a year to be like oh yeah this is what they're talking about i really like this now so that's the reason i blind buy and buy buy at least 50 mils of fragrances because sometimes it takes a long time but anyway i knew this was going to be a risky blind buy but i did it anyway um some of the comments and um, things that people said about this they're throwing big words out there about this fragrance hyping it up a lot of people are hyping this up um, using the word masterpiece and art and bold and daring and sensual and all this kind of like all these kinds of words but there's a few people that said this is just like really really bad um, so I wanted to wear it for at least eight days before I said anything about it. Um, let me give you some notes to this first. Uh, Gucci Guilty Absolute. This is an Eau de Parfum. Um, the perfumer, um, a lot of people will know this name, Alberto Morales. Um, really, really famous perfumer. Really well known. Um, he's known for doing a lot of freshies. As a matter of fact, I have... I would have to count them, but I know I have at least seven or eight, if not ten, of his fragrances in my collection. So I know him pretty well. 
Um, so that was a plus, but the notes to this, um, the official notes to this are um, wood leather, golden wood. I think these are just fantasy notes that um, is, some of them are synthetic, some of them are made up of different things, but they're fantasy notes. There's no such thing as wood leather or golden wood, as far as I know. Um, Nootka, Nootka cypress extract, vetiver, and patchouli oils. Apparently there was three different kinds of patchouli oils used in this fragrance. Um, so a pretty unusual blend. Um, I'll tell you what I get from this. This is supposed to be a leather dominant fragrance. And the second main accord is supposed to be woods. But I tell you what I'll, what I get personally from this. And I know, I know this fragrance pretty well because I've been wearing it every day um, for eight days except for one day. And I get the same thing every single time. And there has been actually a couple of other people that's mentioned um, this first thing that I'm going to mention. Band-Aids. Do you know the smell of, like if you get a cut on your finger and you open up a, a Band-Aid, that smell, that sort of rubbery smell? I get that too. That is the main that is the main thing that I get from this fragrance is a band-aid smell. The second thing I get from this is like a it's like motor oil. It's like some kind of oil, like motor oil. I don't know how many people out there has actually, you know, changed their oil but actually smelled the motor oil. That's another thing that I get. So the, the main two things of this fragrance for me so far is a Band-Aid smell and motor oil. I get um, medicinal, a medicinal smell from this. I get a chemical smell from this. So those are the main things that I've, I've gotten from this fragrance so far. Um, the first time that I smelled this fragrance, I was like, this is absolutely nasty. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking when they put this out, but this is absolutely nasty. The second time, it seemed to me like it was a little bit more tolerable. Um, and after that, it was just pretty much the same. Um, Band-Aid, motor oil, chemical, medicinal, maybe a little bit animalic, a little bit. But the last four days, I have gotten something else from this in the background. It's far off, it's very subtle, it's very light, but there's something in the background that if it was more upfront, it might make this a lot more wearable. And I don't know what it is. This is, people said they smell leather and woods. Maybe there's like a subtle leather and woods way off in the background, but I can just barely detect something way in the background that is sort of nice but I can just barely pick that up so if if the band-aid smell and the motor oil and the chemical and medicinal smell was more in the back and whatever I smelled in the back was more up front this would make this fragrance so much more tolerable and more wearable but it's not I'm going to keep wearing this a lot of people say they they smelled this at the beginning and hated it but they ended up growing to love this fragrance so I'm going to continue to wear this fragrance and hopefully within a year maybe it will hit me like oh, okay I sort of get it now but as of the last eight days it's mm -mm. nope I'm I'm not getting it I get band-aid motor oil chemical synthetic and it's just it's just it's not pleasant there's nothing in this fragrance that's pleasant it doesn't smell good um, except that whatever it is way off in the background that actually smells pretty nice, but I, like I said, I can just barely detect it. So 
as of this moment, I think this is a pretty nasty fragrance. There's, I can't say really anything good about it other than there, there was people that said this is very brave and daring for Gucci to do. I agree with that. Um, because there's nothing else other than maybe one or two things on the market that I've ever smelled that's close to this. It is brave and daring of them to put this out. I agree. But in my world, in my personal opinion, this is not a masterpiece. Um, this is not art it, to me. I can see why people would say this is a masterpiece in art. I, I can see that. But in my world, in my opinion, this smells nasty. It does. It smells nasty. And I'm glad that I got it. I really am. Because if I didn't get it and didn't wear it for so long, for eight days, well, it's not that long, but it would always be in the back of my head like, man, I should have gotten that fragrance because I could have left it or whatever. So I am glad that I got it. And like I said, I am going to keep wearing this because there's fragrances that I've had for a year that I never really liked that much. And all of a sudden it would be like, man, this is actually pretty good. So I'm going to keep wearing this. Um, this actually wasn't full when I got it. It was, it was mostly full, but you can see how much that I've worn of this. But I'm going to keep wearing it and maybe one day my mind will change. And maybe it will hit me one day. And um, if it does, I will do another review on it. But as of now... I think it's pretty nasty to tell you the truth and uh, it, it doesn't matter what other people say when I started wearing this and uh, even like the first day I, I got all those I got everybody else's opinion out of my head I just went blank and I started asking myself questions I was like what do I smell do I smell things that's on the listing of the notes do I smell that stuff or do I not does it smell good? Does it smell bad? What do I smell? And I just did that every time I wore it and thought about it and didn't think about what anybody else said about it being a masterpiece or about it sucking. I wanted my own opinion about this fragrance and what I just told you is my personal experience with this fragrance. So I hope y'all got something from this. Um, if you want to try it, go for it. I mean, you might be one of the ones who really love this fragrance, so, but it is a risky blind buy. Um, so anyway, I love you guys, and um, I'll be back to talk about something else later. See ya. Bye.